Hi guys, it's Roman Kozak here. Today I'll be uh, doing an introduction to the Fritzing uh, PCB program. Now what Fritzing is, is it's a super easy way to create your own custom printed circuit boards where you can etch them at home or send them off to a manufacturing company to manufacture them. Now actually I created a, a very uh, pretty complex circuit in here a couple weeks ago for my science fair project that I took to Canada Wide Science Fair and then I sent that off to a manufacturing company to get it manufactured. So I'll show you guys um, how to um, navigate your way around fritzing and then in another tour I'll show you how to create a project, put that into a Gerber file and then send that off to a company to get it manufactured. Um, so let's start with the parts bin. Um, here you can access a whole bunch of parts, everything from Atmel 328s uh, from our for Arduino to parallax components. Uh, you have your s switches, um, you have LCDs, you have motors, um, everything you can possibly think of. And let's just say your part isn't here, you can enter in custom parts um, with uh, custom holes and spacing. So really there is no limit. Well actually there is. Um, in fritzing you can only do up to two layer circuits. Um, so if you want to do anything more than two layers, you'll have to use a program, for example, Eagle. Now let's start by dragging and dropping a resistor on the breadboard. And here you can edit all the properties of the resistor. For example, um, change um, its resistance, uh, for example, 15 ohms um, or 220 ohms. The package size if you want it to be a surface mount resistor or if you want just a standard through hole. You can also change the pin spacing here. So as you can see, we dragged a resistor here. We changed its properties. Now if you head on over to the schematic view, you can see that a resistor also showed up here. To edit the title of the resistor, just double click on that label there. And you can enter, for example, resistor 1, 220 ohms. And the label will change. Also, um, in your PCB view, um, a resistor will be added and um, the label will also be the same where you can move that around. And once again, for example, if you don't want through hole, you can change that to a surface, surface mount and um, the resistor on there will correspond with the size you want. Okay, um, now let's go back to breadboard and create our first custom circuit. This one, one uh, will be fairly easy, guys, since I'm just showing you the concept of fritzing. Uh, go on over and get a power supply. Let's get a voltage regulator and stick that in the breadboard. Let's head on over and pick up an LED, put that in the breadboard. Also, um, let's get a resistor. And... Um, um, no, just for fun, let's get a switch because switches are good. So a slide switch. Now what we want to do is just hook up all this stuff together. So let's say this is my masterpiece of a circuit that I just set up and I want to take it from breadboard to design. So what I'm going to do is I'd lay it out exactly the way I have it on my breadboard in real life. And then I'd align up all the wires. So let's start by hooking up the switch to the voltage regulator. Actually, you know what? Yep, let's do that. Uh, to the voltage regulator. And now you can change the colors of lines by right clicking on the wire and then going wire color and red. So we want to keep that red. And then the output we're going to put to the breadboard side rail. Now this of course connects to ground, so we'll get this guy touch it to ground and like that and then we'll also connect this guy here um, taking it from the same rail you can see and then connecting that to the ground rail here change that to black so we have our power set up now we can go ahead and attach our LED so to add the resistor there drag that to positive actually sorry that's the ground um and then um 
drag that to positive. So there, guys, we have our first circuit set up in fritzing. And it just as simple as that. So just by dragging wires from one uh, from one uh, part to another, um, you can connect them and create an electrical connection. So let's head over to the schematic view. And um, in the schematic view, you can see that there is in fact, uh, there is in fact, uh, here we have our voltage regulator, our light emitting diode, our power supply, and our resistor. And to make this a bit more readable, you can go routing and auto route and it will just make the connections a lot neater. If you're someone that likes to be organized, you can go ahead and add a information plate to here. And add in your info below. So your project, your file name, and all that stuff. Now if you want to print this off, you can just go to File and Print, and it'll print it off in your normal schematic view. Now heading on over to the PCB view, uh, you can easily resize the, resize the PCB by clicking and dragging it like that and then um, moving all the parts onto the circuit board. Sorry, on the PCB. And then once again, um, you can go like this and then rotating auto route and it'll make everything really neat. And as you can see, um, it's created two layers. So the yellow layer would be the layer that's on top. And then the yellow layer, the orange layer would be the, the, uh, the layer that is on the second layer of the PCB. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we have our breadboard, our schematic, and our PCB view uh, with our inspector where we change the properties. And um, to finish that, uh, you can just save it. And um, change that to intro. Okay. And just save that up. And then um, that's it for this episode. But um, in my next episode, I'll be covering um, how to make a bit more complex project and then ex exporting that as a Gerber file and then sending that off to a manufacturing company uh, where you can get your own PCB made. So look uh, for that tutorial in a couple days, and yeah, thanks for watching.